Hi, I'm Julie Ertz, midfielder for the U.S. Women's National Team. Is that the Disney <laughs> Channel? <laughs> What's your favorite activity to do with Madden now? Uh, really everything. He's like the coolest person I've ever met, and he's only 10 months old. He's just so fun. So literally everything, but he's like starting to learn like things. So just like making him like clap and laugh and smile and stuff is like my favorite. What's the coolest place soccer's taken you? Gosh, I feel like there's so many cool places. Um, I feel like I wouldn't have traveled without soccer, but. Like, Algar was amazing. It was beautiful. Um, Vancouver was beautiful. France was awesome. Yeah, I feel like everywhere is like cool. Anytime you get to travel, I think traveling is just like so awesome. Where do you want to go to for your next non soccer vacation? I feel like after this 13 hour flight, I'm not going to want to travel fly too far because I feel like I have a lot on the list. Like, I haven't been to Italy or but I feel like I'm just gonna go with like Hawaii, just because like Zach and I love it. Um, we have a few friends that live there, so I think it's like a mixture of you know going to see see your people and like it's beautiful. We love it there. What feels better, perfectly timed tackle to deny a goal, or scoring a goal yourself? Gosh, I'll take both. But I guess I'll go with tackle, just as a defensive player. I feel like I should probably say that, but yeah, tackle. What do you like the most about being a defensive player? I like the challenges that it comes with being a defensive player, of having to read the game in different scenarios. I find that aspect of the game, just like the tactic side of it, so fun. There's so many different ways you can play the game or different style of players. And so I think it's just like, People do Rubik's Cubes, and I read <laughs> offensive attacks from other teams. <laughs> if you could be a professional athlete in any sport other than soccer, what would you go pro in? This would have been a different answer a while ago, but I'm going to go with golf because we've been watching it, and I just want to pick it up, like, now that I'm older, um, and I feel maybe the longevity of it. How's your golf game? Terrible. Literally terrible. I'm starting. I'm starting from ground zero. I like. I'm fine. Like when I'm like on the tee, it's everything else. So like the whole the whole sport of golf minus the first yeah, shot. Eighty yeah, percent. <laughs> yes. What does the phrase "always possible" mean to you? I think it's just the power of belief that there's always a way, and I think you're always gonna face challenges and adversity. So I think the always possible is just. Exactly that. Your belief that you'll find a way. That looks kind of nice, doesn't it? I've seen some of the other girls. <laughs> <laughs> that was a low blow. Love it. You guys have me do this on 4th of July. Love it, Jules. Thanks. Usa, 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 I guess, was the theme today. <laughs> <laughs>